News Flash Ashanti 360 allegedly gets evicted and cries to his woman for help. Hear how the bangerang unfolds. Okay, now let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, <clears throat> if you missed last night's development, um, news, 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 social media news. So, 369, you know who that is. 369, a.k.a. Gavin Salmon, you know, Gavin Salmon was served two days ago while he was on live tearing down other people, tearing down Marcia specifically. While during the live, he was served with a notice to vacate the house that he is living in. Okay, let me repeat again. Day before yesterday, while Gavin Salmon, a.k.a. 369, was conducting his Keyless Live, and while he was laughing at Marcia and her apparent eviction situation, which is not true, I heard, um, while he was laughing, the door busted open, the alarm went off, and the owner of the house entered the house and served him with court documents that stated he had, at the time, he had three days to vacate the premises. You see how karma works? Let me break it down for you. So while he was busy on live, laughing at Marcia's situation, uh, alleged situation, the owner of the house where he was sitting on that beautiful queen chair, while he was conducting the live, the owner walked in and handed him eviction notice. Like here, get the hell out of my house type of thing. But it was from the courts. It was real official official. I, I saw a copy of that document. Official official notice to vacate the premises. Upon him hearing the homeowner entering the house, he immediately and abruptly ended the live. He ended the live without warning. All we know was that we heard a loud noise coming from like an alarm or a door. Then it sounded like a door was opening like forcefully. Then after that, the live went dead. It was like something happened. It was clear that something did happen. After that beeping, beeping sound, and it sounded like a door broke open and the live abruptly ended, he was missing. He was missing from social media for the entire day, about 24 hours late. He, he was missing from social media for 24 hours an entire 24 hours. Not a post, not a hello, not a reel, not a like, not a shit. He was just missing from social media after the abrupt end of the live the day before when he was served court papers to vacate the premises. Okay? Now, <clears throat> at the time when he was served the papers, at the time, when he was served court papers, we had no idea what his situation was. We had no idea how long he had. We had no idea of the details of these court documents until last night, last night. To my surprise, I was sent a copy of this legal document. Upon review of this legal document, that was served to Gavin Salmon, it was clear that he had only two more days to vacate the premises. As a matter of fact, there is a date on the court document. There is a date. He has to leave the property by Friday, September the 29th at noon. He has to leave by noon on Friday, September the 29th. 
He has to leave the property by Friday at noon, September the 29th. His notice to vacate the premises Okay, he has to leave. Friday, like tomorrow Friday, he has to leave the premises by noon. He has to vacate the premises by noon. So, with that said, we are going to have a eviction notice party. We're going to have a, an eviction notice party tomorrow at noon. We're going to have an eviction notice party a cyber party, a send-off party tomorrow at noon right here at Tina Chin Pop-Up Cake Shop. Now, let me tell you. Let me read your comment, darling. In Muma said, and in Grand Muma, I forgot. Well, in addition to that, there are other things that pretty much is making this move a little bit more difficult for Gavin Salmon. What are those, you might ask? Well, the red car is no longer in his possession. He sold it. Yeah. He doesn't have the red car anymore. The, the red car is a goner. The red car gone. Him not a more red car. Remember the red car where him used to sleep in? Huh? It gone. Gone, gone, gone. Him not have no more red car. However, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. I'm jumping ahead of myself because I didn't give you the real juice on what happened prior to him being served this particular notice, this last notice. Now, based on what I saw in the document, on already for this now? On already? Based on what I saw in the document, Based on what I saw in the document, this man has been fighting eviction for the past three months. Hallelujah. He's been fighting eviction for the last three months of his life. So, while we were busy, while we were busy working as responsible adults, taking care of our families, paying our bills piece by piece or whatever, you know, while we were busy being responsible adults out there, while he was busy on the net, cursing Marcia, me, and others, he was busy in court fighting the eviction. A few moments later.